So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix that powdery white outfit on the Mezco 112 Collective 89 Batman, the Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, a lot of people have been receiving their Batmans lately, and they've been coming um, very powdery, I guess. They had added some sort of powder solution, or I don't know what the heck, to protect it. Who knows? I guess it's for the rubber. Hey, it makes sense, right? Some people will probably not open these figures five years from now, ten years from now. You know, those mint on card collectors that keep it on card, then they sell it off, and then somebody down the road eight years from now is going to open it and be like, what the heck? So maybe that's what the powder is for. It's to protect it. So now is to wipe off that powder because obviously you don't want that on your figure. Uh, so let's get it cracked open. I do have a separate video review of the figure itself if you want to see that. It's a separate video. I figured to do it separately. I thought I was going to initially do it together, but I didn't want this video to be 30, 40 minutes long. So I'm going to do them separately. So here we go. All right, so here is our 89 Mezco 112 Collective Batman out of the box. He comes like this without any cape or uh, anything. So he looks kind of funny, so don't judge him off of that. But you can see here, if you look a little close, uh, you know, the black is washed out. It's very, very grayed out. It's got white powder on it. You can see a white outline on the kneecap there. A lot of other collectors out there had a more heavier amount of white powder on the figure. Uh, you can kind of see it between his legs right there. So it looks like it's been in the shelf for a very long, or on the shelf for a long time and dust has been accumulating but no this is not dust so we will try to clean him up and see if this solution works it should take a few minutes it shouldn't be that much so we're gonna spray it on a paper towel and then we're gonna just wipe him down now the head is on magnetically so we're gonna remove that uh, so it's not in the way so shout out to adam van wickler on instagram for uh posting this thing up this is the reason why i even found out about this solution here uh, it is 303 protectant interior and exterior. It's meant for your car. It's meant for vinyl, rubber, plastic. Uh, it's so it could, you know, stay looking new for a longer period of time. Helps prevent fading, cracking, repels dust, lint, and staining. Damn, I might just spray this on my plastic figures, right? <laughs> and then dries to the touch, non-greasy finish. That's the most important part right there. Hopefully it's not greasy and oily. That is what I care about because that would be even worse. Why would I want a super oily, greasy Batman figure? So... All right, my first time using this thing, I'm really just going, um, you know, just winging it here. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's not a total disaster, but I'm going to spray this uh, paper towel right here. It's a brand new bottle, so it's got to give it some time to squirt out. All right, there we go. Well, that's a, quite a bit. So we'll start, well, I guess we'll start on the chest here and see how it goes. So you can see right there. All right, so we'll just keep wiping it. I didn't want to spray the figure directly because I don't know, I'm kind of scared to do that. Um, but you could already see it's darkening up a bit right there. That's what we want to see. Um, I might end up having to spray it directly to get into those cracks. We're going to see some white powdery cracks and then a black body for Batman. I, I really don't want it to get super messy here. So we're going to spray a little bit more on here. So far, I'm not feeling it oily, which is very cool. I mean, that's that was my main fear that it was going to be super oily. So it's good to it's good to know that it's not. All right, so there's the backside. So we're gonna fast forward, of course, or you know what? I'm just gonna speed it up so just so you guys see that I'm doing everything on camera uh, for you guys. I might do a little bit off camera, but I'm gonna do the majority on camera here and just speed up so you guys aren't bored out of your minds. And then we'll get to the final product. Okay, so here is our final product. Once you're done wiping him down, it takes a few minutes, that's all. Unless you want to get super, super into everything and do it over and over and over. Just to make sure you get every... Uh, you know crack and crevice then you can take a little longer obviously it took me probably like 10 minutes because I did spend some time on it uh, but look at it like look at it now compared to what you just saw it's it's not as grayed out it's not as whitewashed out as it was it's actually got some gloss to it it's got some shine to it because of the light bouncing off of it now it's not oily it's not um, greasy anything like that just like it 
uh, advertised on the bottle. It leaves it normal. It feels like the soft rubber or the Fison soft seamless body. So that's great. Now, Mesco actually put out a statement saying that uh, you can wash it down with water if you want to expedite it. They said that it'll wash off by itself over time, but come on now, it's going to be dry on your shelf and it's going to stay like that. Um, but you can wash it with water. Now, you can do that and not spend any money. I think that bottle of uh, 303 was about $8. So if you don't want to spend 8 bucks, you could just wash it down with water and then you're good. But I felt like, hey, you know what? I might as well um, get something that's not water, you know, get something that's meant for protecting rubber, plastic, and all that stuff and see if it actually helps it over time because not only do I want to wash it down, wash off the powder, but I want to protect it too because it is that seamless rubber body that's always prone to crack no matter what figure has it. Like I said, Hot Toys does it all the time. They just did it with their Ahsoka Tano figure, and I've, I've, I've seen pictures of, of collectors with it already cracking on the elbow from having it posed with the elbow bent. So that could happen to this figure. If it can happen to a Hot Toy, it can happen to a Mezco. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to, I might as well just wash it down with something that protects rubber and plastic at the same time uh, while I'm getting the powder off. So that's how I look at it, and that's how you can um, as well if you want. So if you want to see the review of this guy, uh, make sure to check it out. It is a separate video uh, where you guys can see the review of this figure if you guys are interested in the review. And here he is in full glory with the cape on. That makes all the difference. That is your Michael Keaton 89 Batman. Look at that. Night and day compared to the figure we were just handling before we started this process. So that's your result right here. You actually get the figure that you were actually looking forward to once you get it all taken care of. So yeah, that is how you clean up the Michael Keaton 89 Batman Mesco 112 Collective. Clean up the powder off of the figure so you, you can make it look that much better. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section if you're going to do this. I, I recommend you do it. it. It looks great. This is how it's meant to be or it's meant to look on your shelf. So hopefully this works out for you guys. And uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be kind. Be well. Be positive, And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.